Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this video tutorial we explain how to extract frames from a video. And here is a test case. This video shows a coyote that I filmed around my neighborhood. Now, in this video tutorial I will teach you how to extract the images or frames from this video. This video is filmed with 30 frames per second and after I extracted the frames I obtained in total 342 frames and here they are. For example, this is the frame number 88, this is the frame 102, etc. To extract frames from the video we need to use FFmpeg. Consequently open Google and search for FFmpeg. Then click over here and we need to download this program and to install it. So click here on download and over here you need to select Windows and you need to select the proper options. After clicking on this Windows you need to click here and this link will lead you to this GitHub page. Then over here you need to select this version FFmpeg Master Latest Win64 GPL. So click over here and the download process should start. You should select your folder where you want to download. I will download it in my downloads folder and click on save. And it takes literally a few seconds to download this program. Next, let's go to the downloads folder. I will click here and I will go to downloads folder. And the next step is to extract the zip file. So do the right click, extract all and extract over here. Now this will take some time and here it is. Okay, you will see this folder, navigate to this folder, then over here you need to copy everything. There are two ways, you can either copy this whole folder, so I will do that, I will press Control C to copy everything, then over here on my C drive I will create a new folder click here, new folder, and I will call this folder as FFmpeg. Here it is. Then I will navigate to that folder and I will simply paste this folder over here. Good. To be able to run this program, we need to add its executable file, files to the Windows path. So click here and then find the bin folder. Here are all the binaries. Then click here then select this complete path by pressing Ctrl A, then copy this by pressing Ctrl C, then click here and search for environment, or better like this, edit environment variables. And you should see this. So click here, then over here click on path, click on edit path, then double click here and paste this path and click OK, click OK once more, and now let's test FFmpeg. The next step is to test the installation. Click on Start and search for Command Prompt. Open the Command Prompt, and over here in the Command Prompt, type FFmpeg. And let's see what will happen. If you see a response like this, this means that FFmpeg is properly installed and we can continue. Now over here on my C drive I created this folder called test ffmpeg and inside of this folder I copied this video. Here it is. This is the video I want to manipulate. That is I want to extract frames from this video. Now I suggest that you take a video either with your phone or you, that you download the video from internet and that you create a similar folder, preferably with the same name, and that you save the video in this folder, and save it in the mp4 format. Of course, you can also use some other formats. However, let's deal with this format in this video tutorial. Okay, next, go back to the command prompt, and let's navigate to that folder. First of all, type this to go to the C folder. Then over here, type cd test, and then the name of the folder is test ffmpeg. Let me now change the size of this screen such that you can see what I'm doing. 
and over here type this command to list the content of this folder and you should see the video. The video name is coyote 11mp 4 and I want to extract frames from this video. First, let's learn how to extract all the frames. To extract all the frames you need to write the following. First of all, you need to call ffmpeg, then over here you need to enter this option i, i means input, that is we want to specify the input video, then you need to specify the name of the video, in our case the name of the video is coyote11.mp4, then you need to specify the frame rate, this video is filmed with 30 frames per second, consequently I will extract 30 frames per second and over here you need to specify the file name. In this case I will assume that the output format is PNG format, however you can also use some other formats such as JPG or some other image format. And what is this percentage %D? This percentage %D means that we will extract frames like this, frame 0, frame 1, frame 2, etc. And the file names will be frame 0, frame 1, frame 2, and frame 3. Consequently, this percentage %D denotes how we are going to name the files. That is, we will have frame, and then we will have the number of the frame. And that's it. So let's execute this, and let's see what will happen. Now you have to wait. You can see the frame number over here, and you can see what is the frames per second extraction speed. You can see over here the speed. The speed is actually half of the video speed. Consequently, it's going to take around 20, 25 seconds to complete the code, everything. Good. Done. Let's see what happened. Now, if you type this command, you can see all the frames. Here they are. Okay, so let's go back to our explorer and let's see the frames. Okay, so here are the frames. Frame 1, perfect. Then let's see frame 5, Coyote moved a little bit. Then let's see frame, for example, 128, here it is, etc. Works perfectly. And in this way you can extract all the frames. Piece of cake. Next, let's learn how to extract only a single frame at a given time instant. Okay, first of all, I'm going to erase everything here except the original video, such that I can demonstrate you. So here's the original video. So let's go back in the terminal and let's again type this command to list everything. And we only have the video over here. To extract only a single frame, we need to type this. Again, we talk, call MM, ffmpeg, we specify input, we specify the input file or the input video, and over here we use this option ss, and we specify the time instant. Over here, I will extract the frame at the second 4. That is, at the time instant 4 second, I will extract the frame. Then over here, you can specify how many frames you want to extract, I only want to extract a single frame, and here's the frame name. And notice over here that I'm using another image format, JPG. So let's see, bang, here it is. So let's see the files again, and here's the file. You can see that it's huge. Okay, so let's go to our explorer and let's see this file. Here is the file, amazing. Let's test this, does it really work? For example, let's choose a second, for example, 10 seconds. Let's see what will happen. And over here, you need to specify the second. And here it is. And let's see, there is another one. And that's correct. Coyote moved. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you liked the video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.